A new partnership is reviving cultural practices so they can be used by newer generations. KX News' Mary Gunkoff has more on how a new grant is going to make a lasting impact. Nueta Hidatsa Sanish College, located in Newtown, has joined forces with Montana State University to strengthen their agriculture programs. Together, they have received $5 million from the USDA to support indigenous food systems and agricultural programs. Jill Falcon Raymaker, the representative for Montana State University, says this partnership will allow them to restore connections within the Great Plains region. What we're doing in developing this relationship with our relatives at Nueva Hidatsa Sanish is we're really rebuilding the native knowledge network that made our food system sustainable. Uh, we worked together as relatives on the plains as we shared foods and shared knowledge with one another. And so building back that native knowledge network is a really important element of intertribal food sovereignty. The partnership between these schools is strengthened with the grant, which will be used for providing a food systems curriculum and a graduate certificate program. It will also create connections with other indigenous tribes in Mexico and Norway as these schools learn from their sustainable practices of animal husbandry and horticulture. Ruth Plenty Sweetgrass She Kills, the Food Sovereignty Director at Nueta Hidatsa Sanish College, believes that this grant will benefit the whole region. So with this project, part of what I want to see is our people having the opportunity and the exposure to agriculture, to farming, again, those ties to our buffalo relatives and to be able to know how to grow our own food, to have our own food systems again, our own local food, know where it's coming from, how it's grown, and then not only feed ourselves, but like we did historically, we also help to feed the region. The grant will also be used for scholarships at Nueta Hidatsa Sanish College helping to remove financial obstacles and encouraging involvement in the agricultural field. Reporting for KX News, I'm Mary Gutenkoff. In order to learn more about the grant and the Buffalo Nations, you can find this story over at kxnet.com.